had the opportunity to start in commercial real estate 12 years ago, and I always have been doing industrial real estate. Uh, at the firm that I was with prior, the emphasis was to kind of specialize, and so industrial happened to be the food group that I was in. Uh, started at the time of just about the Great Recession, so certainly uh, a little bit of a learning curve going through that process. But as the markets recovered and as things have kind of changed and gotten better, it's been really fun to see the industrial world change with e-commerce and you know two-day delivery. Anyone that's got Amazon and needs their packages in the next one or two days, I mean, it, that's the evolution of industrial. So it's been fun to kind of be a part of, of that whole process. Closed on the Twin Lab facility, 161,000 square foot facility that's meant for uh, industrial manufacturing. Uh, the, lo the buyer was a local group, uh, which is a fun part of the story because you know we were able to capture someone local to get them into a bigger facility as they were growing to kind of meet those needs and to help them kind of build on what they've been, been doing and we're excited about their future in that facility and it's been a great it's been a great opportunity to get a big win for Mountain West Industrial. Part of our job really is to become problem solvers. So um, as we were engaged on the Twin Lab facility, our client had actually worked to put the building under contract. And in doing that, they needed to take advantage of some additional parking that the property held for a 90 acre development that they're doing next door. And so our job was to solve the problem of, we don't really want the building, but we really need the parking so we can get the right zoning and so that we can take care of the things that we need to on our development end. And so we said, okay, great, let's go market this thing. Let's go see if we can get it sold. And so we find a local, co uh, a local company that needs to take advantage of this kind of a facility uh, to be able to do food production, to be able to take advantage of the manufacturing, the fully refrigerated warehouse, the racking systems, the bells and whistles that come with this property. This wasn't just a standard distribution warehouse. This is something much more than that. And we were able to work with a group that needed to utilize this kind of a facility. And so by getting them in the facility, it was something that helped solve their growth problem. And so in doing so, we feel like it was a win on all ends because the group that's gonna use the facility can take advantage of the infrastructure and the group that needed the, the parking scenario, they were able to capitalize on that. And, and that's what we try to do as brokers. We wanna solve problems. We wanna help clients meet their goals. We wanna help uh, people achieve success. And when that happens, we succeed. And, and so it's fun to really put those, put those transactions together. The other thing that was interesting about the transaction down in Utah County was that it was in an opportunity zone. Opportunity zone is kind of a catchphrase right now because of new legislation and uh, being able to defer tax and different things like that. And it's really been a key component to doing some deals in today's market. And so we feel like we've capitalized on the opportunity zone experience with this transaction, which is in line with what's taking place in the market. Mountain West has been great, and we feel like we can offer local uh, guidance, local flair, and really give good perspective on the market, but we're also incentivized to see folks locally succeed, and so we're really excited to be able to provide that opportunity, maybe a little different than a corporate national shop. Industrial in Salt Lake City, even the Wasatch Front, is a very tight market. Uh, market vacancies at kind of all-time low, 3-ish percent and uh, there's a lot of demand, there's a lot of new construction taking place. It seems like the market's on fire, and we hope to continue to capitalize on this. There's a lot of projects still going on. The airport's almost completed, uh, at least the first phase. Second phase will get uh, kicked off here in the next little bit. And uh, with road infrastructure projects and other things going on, Utah certainly is a place to be, and we get that when we talk to folks from other states that you know, want to bring business here and want to do things here. The thing that excites me uh, looking into the future is to continue to the growth of the Mountain West Industrial Department, 
to add other brokers, to chase other business, to go out and compete with the corporate shops, to go out and to find opportunities to help companies grow, to help them take advantage of the industrial environment that we're in. And if we can do that, I think there's some really good opportunities for us as kind of a local shop to capitalize on some, some, some experiences and to really reach out to others and give them a good, good insight as to where we are in the market. Um, you know, and industrial is the flavor of the day right now. Everyone talks industrial. Everyone wants to, you know, be a part of it, build it, own it. And so we feel like we're in a really good market segment to where there's some runway here, not just here in Utah, but across the, the national scale. So it, it's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun discipline to be a part of over the next four or five, six years. As long as you keep getting that package on your door in two days, industrial is going to be awesome.